Toenail fungus is a common nail condition affecting millions of people in the United States. Fungal nail infections can develop on the nail from various organisms such as molds, yeast, and fungi. This usually occurs after these organisms come into contact with the cracked nail or skin surrounding the nail as the opening provides a portal of entry for these organisms. Risk factors when your feet sweat or remain moist or damp, the opportunity for the fungus to grow on your toenails increases. Frequent exposure to warm, moist environments such as swimming pools, locker rooms, or even living in a humid climate places you more at risk of developing these type of infections. This is also why these infections seem to be more prevalent during the summer months. Men have been known to develop these type of infections more than women as well as individuals with weakened immune systems, people with diabetes, poor circulation, and older adults. Individuals who frequent nail salons may also be placing themselves at risk of developing and spreading fungal infections to their feet. Evidence of a toenail infection includes change in nail color, which may be white, yellow, brown, or even black. The nail may become thickened, making it difficult for you to care for the nail on your own. Foul odor, brittleness, or even complete separation of the nail from the nail bed may occur. Here are 16 home remedies for toenail fungus. A variety of treatment options for toenail fungus are available, including drug-free alternatives, over-the-counter medicine, prescription drugs, laser treatment, or even surgical removal for these severe cases. Most people start with items they have around the house before purchasing medication or visiting their doctor's office. These treatments are most effective in mild cases. One, weekly maintenance. First, prepare your nails for treatment by trimming and filing them once a week. Clipping toenails relieves pressure on the nails and helps antifungal solutions penetrate the nail. Use traditional toenail clippers and an emery board to keep nails short and thin. Make sure to disinfect utensils after each use. Maintaining trimmed, clean, and dry nails will be essential in treating toenail fungus and preventing it in the future. Number two, clean socks and shoes regularly. Changing your socks and shoes can also cut down on the growth of unwanted foot fungus. Both socks and athletic shoes can also be washed in hot water to rid the growth of yeast and fungi that may be growing on the fabric. Some shoes can be machine dried. Drying shoes in the sun is another option when cleaning footwear. Adding a half cup of baking soda or one cup of vinegar to the washing machine can help eliminate bacteria or fungus on socks or shoes. Boots and other footwear that are not machine washable could be wiped out with a vinegar and water solution or sprayed with an over-the-counter antifungal spray. Medicated powders are also helpful in treating shoes for foot fungus. Allowing the feet to breathe by taking off shoes and socks when possible can prevent fungal growth. Protect your feet by wearing breathable footwear and clean socks. Antimicrobial socks and shoes made from bamboo, copper, or specialty fabrics are also available. They can help reduce unwanted bacteria and yeast from growing in your footwear. A proactive approach to keeping your feet clean and dry can prevent the spread of toenail fungus. You can wash your soaked feet with warm soapy water or a foot bath using everyday household items. Soaking your feet in an all-natural, homopathic concoction can be beneficial in reducing or eliminating toenail fungus. Number three, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide can kill fungus that grows on toenails. You can directly wipe hydrogen peroxide on your infected toes or toenails with a clean cloth or cotton swab. Hydrogen peroxide can also be used in a foot soak.
makes one eighth cup of hydrogen peroxide or several capfuls to four cups of cool water and soak feet for 10 to 20 minutes. Rinse feet with warm water and pat dry. Number four, black tea. Soaking feet in plain tea can also be beneficial in treating toenail or foot fungus. Black tea contains tannic acid that dries out the feet, kills bacteria, and helps to close a foot's pores to reduce sweating. Boil two quarts of water, then add five to six tea bags. Allow the tea to cool and soak feet for 30 minutes. <clears throat> Use this foot soak daily if desired. Number five, apple cider vinegar. Another home remedy to treat toenail fungus includes the use of apple cider vinegar. Vinegar is an antifungal ingredient that can be mixed with water to create a foot soak. Its acidic acid component helps to whiten discolored toenails and stop the spread of the infection to other toes. Try two parts vinegar to one part warm water and soak feet for 20 minutes daily. For a more potent foot soak, the ratio could be one part vinegar to one part water. If the smell is too overwhelming, essential oils can be added to make the experience more pleasant. White vinegar can be used as an alternative as both are equally effective. Number six, baking soda. Add baking soda to a foot soak to heal the affected nail. You can also make a paste of baking soda with a minimal amount of water and apply it directly to the foot. Allow the paste to sit on the affected area for 10 to 20 minutes, then rinse with warm water and dry the foot thoroughly. Baking soda can also be sprinkled onto the foot or in the shoes like foot powder. Once applied to a dry foot, put on clean socks. The baking soda can wick away moisture while healing properties work to reduce toenail fungus. Number seven, Epsom salt. Soaking feet in an Epsom salt bath can be beneficial to relieve your foot fungus. You can mix one cup of Epsom salt to two quarts of warm to hot water and soak feet for 10 to 20 minutes. Essential oils are a great addition to foot baths. Following your foot soak, rinse your feet with clean water and pat dry with a clean towel. To avoid contaminating clean feet, put on clean socks and breathable shoes following your foot bath. Number eight, olive leaf extract. Olive leaf extract contains olipurine, which is a natural antifungal and antimicrobial. A salve made from the olive leaf can be applied to the toenails to reduce infection. You may also swallow capsules containing the extract to boost the immune system and treat toenail fungus systematically. Approximately two olive leaf extract capsules can be taken twice a day for an extended period. Consult your healthcare provider before taking olive leaf extract. Number nine, snake root extract. Snake root extract made from plants in the sunflower family is an all-natural antifungal homopathic treatment also used to treat toenail fungus. Commonly used in practices in India, snake root extract can be applied directly to the affected toenail. Apply the extract two to three times a week for several months. Ask your physician if snake root extract is right for your type of foot fungus. Number 10, zinc. Zinc oxide is a mineral that can treat fungal infections. As a skin protectant, microzenal zinc oxide can be sprayed or applied to the affected area to fight infection and reduce signs of foot fungus. Check with your doctor to see if adding zinc to your foot care regimen is right for you. Number 11, garlic. Garlic is a potent antimicrobial plant for topical treatment, chop cloves of garlic and leave it on the affected nails for 30 minutes. Use raw garlic sparingly as it can result in a chemical burn. Talk to a healthcare professional before taking oral garlic supplements. Number 12, cornmeal. Cornmeal has some antifungal properties. You can try applying cornmeal as a paste or a soak. 
or a paste, dissolve cornmeal in warm water in a shallow pan. Let the paste cool before using it on your feet. Let it sit for an hour. As a soak, add an inch of cornmeal to a shallow container. Pour an inch of warm water on top of the cornmeal, letting the cornmeal and water mix naturally for an hour. Then, add enough warm water to cover your entire foot and let it soak for an hour. You can try cornmeal as a weekly home remedy for toenail fungus. Number 13. Diet. Your current diet could be feeding fungus caused by candida overgrowth. Here are some diet changes you can make to starve the yeast and improve toenail fungus. Cut out sugar. Don't drink alcohol. Limit your carbohydrates to one cup a day. Cook with coconut oil. Incorporate ginger and garlic supplement with a probiotic. Number 14. Exercise. Regular exercise can expedite the healing process. As blood pumps faster through the body, it releases natural vitamins and flushes toxins. Just be sure to practice proper hygiene to avoid making toenail fungus worse. Wear socks that wick away excess moisture. Use antifungal foot powder. Remove shoes immediately after a workout to let feet breathe. And wear flip-flops or sandals in shower rooms or pools. Remember to wash your feet with an antibacterial soap and completely dry your feet after your shower. Over-the-counter toenail fungus treatment options. While home treatments can be the cure you are looking for to treat toenail fungus, they are not regulated or approved by the Food and Drug Administration. Over-the-counter antifungal creams, sprays, and even medicated nail polish are available. Home remedies can often enhance the efficacy of these products. Number 15. Fix Vapor Rub One of the more popular over-the-counter remedies for treating toenail fungus is using Vix Vapor Rub. Mentholated salves contain the natural ingredients menthol, eucalyptus oil, and camphor. Use Vicks alone or in conjunction with other treatments and medications. Clean feet and apply a small amount of Vicks Vapor Rub daily. Number 16. Listerine. Soaking an infected nail in the product Listerine can also help reduce or kill the fungus commonly used as a mouthwash. Listerine applied to the affected toenail or toenail for 20 minutes twice a day can effectively reduce signs of this fungus. When to see a doctor about toenail fungus? If you are experiencing persistent toenail fungus or pain is present, you may need to see a specialist. Nail changes can also be caused by underlying conditions like psoriasis and diabetes. So it's important to seek professional medical advice if your condition persists or worsens. Bacterial and fungal infection of skin and diabetes patients often result in hospital admissions and in severe cases can result in amputations. If you are at a higher risk for infection, you should skip home remedies and seek professional medical treatment.